Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. So today I wanted to make a strawberry cake with strawberry icing. That sounds really good. And I have these really cute little um, heart-shaped things. So I'm gonna make some cupcakes. We'll see how this goes. I have some pink little um, cupcake liners. Um, I tried making brownies in this thing before and it definitely didn't work, so we'll see how this goes. It's really cute though, I hope it works. So what are you guys doing today for Valentine's Day? I'm probably hanging out with my parents, smiling through the pain, everything's fine. Um, I've been single for over a year now. I've been fine. Since college, I've pretty much always had a boyfriend. These past few years have been a little weird being kind of lonely, but it's fine. I really don't miss having a boyfriend. There's some times that I wish I had one, like if I wanted to go to SeaWorld or watch a movie or do something, I don't know. But for the most part, I don't really miss having a boyfriend, and I can just hang out with my friends and it's fine. I need to hang out with my friends more often because I don't really leave my house that much, and it would really benefit me to go hang out with them. So uh, maybe this year I'll hang out with people more often. We'll find out. First thing I have to do is preheat the oven, and yes, there's still Christmas stuff there. Um, we've talked about this. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's Christmas forever. Boop. Uh, it's so difficult. I did it. Okay. So, I need a cup of water, three eggs, and a third cup of vegetable oil. Mmm. Delicious. So, I'm going to start putting things in this beautiful bowl. Bailey is very excited to be back in. He was outside, and um, the neighbor dog was barking at him. Hopefully nicely. It's my angel. So I'm going to put the stuff in here. You can see a little bit more from this angle what's happening. I'm so bad at cracking eggs. This is very stressful. Whew, we did it. A cup of water and a third cup of vegetable oil. Okay, well we don't own a third cup, so I'm gonna do, um, uh, would a third cup be half of a half of a cup? That would be a fourth cup. So, okay, so I'm gonna do it two-thirds of the way. I hope that's right. Math is not my strong suit. Um, I don't think I have a strong suit. I'm going to start mixing this together. This looks disgusting. So I thought while I did this, I would talk to you about wonderful dates I've been on and amazing men I've been with. Only been in a relationship once during Valentine's Day. Also, my longest relationship was four months. I don't know why, but like, I keep getting dumped. I think I'm pretty cool, but like, Okay, whatever. So two years ago was my one and only Valentine's Day. And this guy was so nice. We were together for about a month at this point. And he lived over an hour away. So it was kind of like when we saw each other, we would be together for at least like, a, you know, a full day and then I'd spend the night. So when Valentine's Day rolled around, we decided that we would do like this whole big extravagant thing and be together for like three days. So he made all these plans to do all these cool things. We watched some movies and um, he made chicken parmesan for me and we went out and had nice dinners and everything and it was really nice and we had a great time. We spent a lot of time together. And I went home and I was like, wow, that was so fun. I'm glad I had the best Valentine's Day I could have ever asked for. And then my phone rings. And I answer the phone and I'm like, oh my God, it's my boyfriend. I'm so excited to hear from him. I can't believe he already misses me. And he goes, hey, yeah, um, I want to break up with you. And I'm like, 
but we just had all this fun time together. Didn't you have fun? And he was like, well, I didn't want to dump you on Valentine's Day. So I decided we could just like have fun and enjoy our time then and I'd dump you later. Really loved getting dumped right after Valentine's Day. At least he didn't dump me on Valentine's Day. That, that was his thought process there. Ooh, we are preheated. I genuinely think that he thought he was being really nice by not dumping me first before Valentine's Day, but like, definitely not. <laughs> so that was my um, one and only time that I've ever had a Valentine, and then he dumped me directly after, so that was really fun and um, didn't hurt my self-esteem at all. He was one of the only people who actually called me his girlfriend. A lot of the guys I dated uh, like to call me their friend. Uh, one guy said that we were exclusively dating, but I was not his girlfriend. Yeah, no, I'm definitely your girlfriend. Like, what are you, what even... What are you talking about exclusively dating? That literally means I'm your girlfriend. What are you talking about? But he thought he was really cool and he was like, I don't have a girlfriend. But, oh my God, he was so lame. All he did was play video games all day. The only people he talked to were the same four friends that he had forever. And he wears superhero shirts every day. You're so cool. Wow. What a cool guy. So he definitely thought he was something special, which he wasn't. We had a habit of breaking up. Breaking up because we're not together, of course. And then getting back together. Um, we did that a lot. And when we weren't together, like, we'd still hook up. <laughs> So it doesn't, it never really mattered if we were together or not because we would just hang out all the time anyway, even though he sucked. So that was another guy that I dated. He was my longest relationship at a whopping four months, even though I was not his girlfriend. Cool. So um, this is very lumpy. I don't see it not getting lumpy because I've been stirring it for a while and it's still lumpy. So we're just gonna have some lumpy cupcakes, whatever. Let's get our nice little tins. I hope this works because they are not heart shaped. These are like really cute. I hope this works, oh my God, how cute. So even though I've been like completely screwed over by love my entire life, I still love Valentine's Day. What a great thing, a day just for telling people how much you appreciate them. How beautiful. Looks like this. Yeah, I really wish I was the kind of person who attracted genuinely good guys because my dream guy would be nice and very smart, but also like very sarcastic and very funny and um, kind of an asshole and who can really like dish it out and can take it too. Um, I've dated some really nice guys and they have been very nice, but they weren't funny and my jokes would always go over their head and um, I'm kind of mean and they didn't get it and they didn't like it and they were like, that was kind of harsh. I'm like, this isn't gonna work out. It would be nice to have a guy who's sarcastic and funny, but also very smart. I really like smart guys. So far, um, I haven't found him, but I'm gonna keep looking. For now, I'm just enjoying being single. I don't have to answer to anybody. I can do whatever I want. Um, I have plenty of free time, and in my free time, I am making YouTube videos. So here is our mess. I really don't think these are gonna turn out. Let's put it in the oven. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. You gotta put it in there for like 20 minutes. Oh my God. Uh, let me talk about another guy. This guy, I, I was pretty much always in a relationship whenever I saw him and I was never interested in him and I was always dating someone. So when I'm in a relationship, I'm not looking at guys anyway. I had a lull there when I was single. I was like, I'm really not interested 
and I kind of want to be single for a while. I don't really want to date him. Finally, I was like, fine. We started dating and he seemed like a really nice guy or whatever. But he said he couldn't be in a relationship right now because he had mental illnesses. And he went through this long story, like really descriptive story of his mental illnesses and why he couldn't be in a relationship. And I was like, wow, like I can't believe you told me all this. That's amazing. I'm so sorry that that happened. You know, if we want to take it slow, that's fine. I'll be here for you. Whatever you need, I'm here. Then I went home and I never talked to him again. And I was like, oh, you know, that's a real bummer. I can't believe that. And he really like messed up my head. The next month he was dating someone and he posted on Facebook, I'm so in love. And I'm like, if you, if you weren't interested, just tell me you're not interested. Don't make up a lie that you have some sort of mental illness. What is, who? Do not do that to people. Why would you think that's okay? So, um, yeah, after that, I was like, wow, men really ain't shit. Cool. Okay, I'm going to be single forever because I'm never going to deal with that ever again. I can tell you the story about my first kiss. Um, the first guy that I dated, I was 14. I was a freshman in high school, and we literally did not talk. Like, I would avoid him at school because... Uh, I don't know why I was weird and um, one day after school he like pulled me aside and tried to kiss me and I literally went and was like no thank you I'm okay then I broke up with him then I started dating this other guy he was really weird um, he had this weird mustache. He was like not it. I thought he was so cool. We actually planned it before, like the night before. He was like, hey, I think I want to kiss you tomorrow. And I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? We saw each other a couple times during the day. I kept running, running away from him, like something is wrong with me. After school, we met at the flagpole because every day me and all my friends would meet at the flagpole and we were like really cool. And he came up, he kissed me, oh my god, it was amazing. <laughs> my head felt like it was spinning 100 miles an hour. When I was walking to my bus, I literally almost hit into a bus. You just are so overcome with emotion and like, oh my god, I can't believe that happened, that you can't even see straight. Then we dated for a couple more months and then I dumped him. I'm not good at feelings. So having a boyfriend was like really stressful. And um, I didn't like it. I would rather be alone and just like freak out internally. Really high self-esteem, me in high school. And then when college happened, you know, it's time to have fun. I've always been so like stressed out my entire life. I want to have some fun. So college, I went loose, had some fun, and I was pretty much always dating someone. We would kind of know that this is not forever. I'm not gonna live with this guy for the rest of my life and marry him and everything. Like, no, we're having fun. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. As long as both of you understand this isn't gonna be serious, you know, yeah, of course I can, I would love to be your girlfriend and we could be, you know, monogamous. And then after college, there was a lull there for a little bit and then I dated that guy and then I dated that other guy and then I dated a really nice guy. So since November 2017, I haven't had a boyfriend. I've been on one date. He was such a loser. <laughs> and I was like infatuated with him. And I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's so great. No. So that was a waste of time. And now I'm just like, you know, hanging out. <laughs> There's so much going on in my life right now that I'm just not emotionally ready for a boyfriend or even to date like I have too much going on school and moving and not having a job and everything is changing in my life and I'm freaking out and I think I need to freak out like by myself for a little bit I don't need the manipulation that always comes with having a boyfriend I have a bunny and a dog and they're wonderful and they would never leave me because they don't know how to open the door and that's great i am so happy they can't talk back they can't tell me i can't do something 
They are animals and they love me unconditionally. Kind of a bummer for a Valentine's Day video, but it is what it is. I feel like I'm like 35 and you know, the clock is ticking and I kind of just want to, you know, adopt a kid and live in a nice little town and enjoy my life. I don't really want to have drama and stupid boys in my life. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Um, I'm having so much trouble with these freaking SD cards. My other one formatted. I had like 10 minutes on that stupid thing. So um, I lost a lot of footage. They turned out like this and they, some of them have sprinkles on them and some of them don't. They are delicious. I definitely need to get my own SD card that's like at least 16 gigs because I keep running around the house looking for an SD card and the ones that have space get formatted when I try to use them. Okay, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.